So here we have our process with the base items and the options identified. Now we want to create a package. So all you do is you point at the uh, down here at the task description, hit the right mouse button, and you select the package option. We're then going to package this particular station. We're going to pick the base plus option, and it's going to ask us where we want to put it. So I've got a folder out here that I like to keep it somewhat organized. Timer Pro packages base plus options and I'm going to put this into a new folder I'm going to call this, you can see I've called it option handling I'll rename that option handling 1 okay open that particular one you don't have to change the description here it's going to actually pick up the name of the uh, particular task it's working on this example it's going to be pre prepare floor here and we just click on the save here. It's going to pull up the uh, design that we had. And we can start filling it in. Now remember the major steps here. Everything is just dummy data. But you can see it going down the page here. And it will proceed to do the base. You can see there's a base being created here. And now it's base plot with sand floor. Now it's working on the base with the paint floor. And then there's going to be the base. The all is going to be the next one. Because there's only two options in this one here. And they all remember is going to be a combination of the base with the sand floor and the paint floor options in this particular case. It does take a little bit of time, of course, but it's preferable to, uh, to doing it manually. And then it's going to uh, summarize it and display the cover sheet for us in a second here. There we are. So you see here's the base, base with sand floor, base with paint floor. And then they all, and you can see the different breakouts here. Again, this depends, this is completely definable to your own particular needs here. It will show you here what the current uh, package was and what was put into each of the steps. And if you want to return to that at any point, you just click on the right button here and go to the package, and you can say current Excel version. And it will open it back up right at that particular point here.